Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Trek Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So we are a new Cimarron dealer here. We do love to get Cimarrons in on trade. If we can buy one, we'll go ahead and do that too, because we always have customers that maybe a new one just doesn't make sense, and they want us to keep an eye out for something used. So we do get some used trailers in. We do take trade-ins. We do buy trailers as well. So when we bring these trailers in, we put them back through our service department. Uh, very first thing we do is we look at tires and we, and we want to wash them. We want them to look and present very well. So we wash, acid wash the outside and the inside of these trailers, pull mats, clean up the floors. That way we can assess the floors as well. But then we'll realign these trailers. That's something that, that TransWest does. It is a laser driven realignment. We're only one of two in the nation that can do it. Uh, our window is even tighter than even Dexter axles that you see on a lot of these trailers uh, as far as our, our requirements and what we expect when we go ahead and send this trailer out. We'll take a picture of when we get it and then when we're done with it, realigning it. And we keep those on records as well. But we want these trailers to run down the road straight. And then we'll go through the rest of the trailer. Repack bearings, everything safety is automatic. Lights, you know, anything, breakaway battery, safety chains, hitch, all that is, you know, definitely done if it is required. Um, and then we'll go through the trailer and just what we want is, it's not a new trailer. We want it to be ready and roadworthy for you to go enjoy it when you make the purchase rather than having some issues or some repairs or things that need to be maintained uh, when you make the purchase itself. So behind me is a 2020 Cimarron Windstar model three horse gooseneck. Now this is an air ride trailer. So this is a very unique and very cool setup trailer. Uh, this is actually our owner's demo. One of his demos that he usually pulls. Uh, this one was actually purchased and then traded back in. The customer built them a four horse air ride trailer. The, they thought they could get away with a three, but things changed. So they went with a four. Uh, we built that and they traded this back in. So it's a very, very cool trailer as far as how it's set up. So let's take a look at it as we walk through it. One of the very first things is underneath the gooseneck here, you see a single leg electric over hydraulic jack with a manual override. We like doing these just because if you get in an emergency situation, we can get this trailer on or off a truck by having that manual override. But it's really responsive. You don't have to you know, crank this trailer up. It's not a big trailer by any means. It's just under 5,000 pounds empty as it sits. Uh, but boy, just pushing a button up and down, it really is a nice little touch to it. Battery box, keeping the batteries nice and secure and, and you can lock it up. And then over here to the left is our actual air ride compressor. It's all self-contained, very easy to use, on off, raised position. So we actually have this trailer raised up, so I'll talk to you about that. But again, on, off, raise or lower, and then you have the gauge there. But very, very simple to use. And we'll talk a little bit more about those benefits as, as we walk through this trailer. One of the other things I want you to notice is this is a V-nose setup here. This is not the standard tapered nose that Cimarron uses. This V-nose, if you're not needing that extra uh, you know, gooseneck area, this is a great feature to have because Boy, does it help the way this trailer pulls, but then more importantly, it's gonna help with fuel mileage as well. Now, when we talk about that gooseneck size, Cimarron does an 8-2 nose as far as length, where a lot of the competitors will do a 7-6 to 7-8. So we actually gain some, some length, and then the radius is a little bit wider than some of the other uh, manufacturers out there. Some of them really come to a real sharp point, uh, so it really narrows that, that neck down. You could very easily, I'll show you on the inside, but if, if, you, if you like somebody, uh, a partner of yours, you, the two of you could sleep in this nose. I mean, there is enough room there, and I'll show you that as we get up there. But it's a really cool setup, and man, this trailer pulls. You incorporate that nose with this air ride, and this trailer pulls phenomenally well. So let's take a look at the tack. I'm gonna take a step back here to kind of give you an idea on what we're dealing with here. So we have dual doors. So we have a right-hand door and a left-hand door. And as you can see on the left-hand door, that's actually gonna have our four-tier saddle rack. So we have the four pads. So that door will actually swing in and lock into place. And I can open up my right-hand door uh, 
and not have to open everything up. But boy, it's really nice to be able to open this up, have everything right here. You've got this bin here. You can go ahead and uh, you know fold your stirrups in there. That way it's not dragging over the door frame as you're coming in and out. And then you've got the dual fold up steps. So it's a real tra easy transition getting in and out. But boy, you wanna talk about if you're hauling some, a lot of extra stuff with you, how simple and how awesome is that to be able to pull up to a barn, your house, your shop, throw that stuff in there. It's a huge opening. Uh, even if you have this left hand door shut, this right hand door is a 42 inch wide door. So it's a big, massive door. So you have a lot of space there. And on this right hand door, you got your four tier blanket pole rack that's on a gas shock as well. So it swings out and then a brush tray on the door for some additional storage. Now I want you to notice on that back wall, that's a six foot short wall with a four foot offset. So this is a 10 foot long wall on this side, but you'll notice the spare tire sitting there. So this trailer is 610 wide. That's the Cimarron standard width and 71 tall. But because of the width, we actually upgraded this trailer to 19.5 wheels and tires. And the 19.5s are really gaining a lot of popularity out there. And one of the main reasons is, is you can go anywhere, any truck stop in this country, and you can get a 19.5 wheel. But that is a bore uh, wheel with the 19.5, but because of the size, and because we're dealing with a hydraulic jack underneath this gooseneck, we don't have the space to locate that spare up in the front. So it had to be located here in, in the tack room. But let's just take a look at the rest of this tack room because it is really well set up. Back here on this partition wall, fully carpeted. So we don't have tack rubbing against a wall, you know, creating a lot of noise for the horses, also scuffing things up. And then we have a corner water tank tucked behind there as well. So at 25 gallons, you'll be able to carry uh, your fresh water from home um, anything like that right there. It's, it's just gravity feed, so it's really easy to drain and fill. Uh, but boy, it's sure nice. Even if you get somewhere, you have a finicky horse or, you know, you get to an event and your park clear out in the back and you, the hydrant's a long ways away, you've got that water there for you. And also, a pass-through door. So you can go from the stall area directly in here uh, to this tack room by this you know, through this door access point, maybe you use it as a mud room even, uh, to kick off some dirty boots or something like that. Again, a six foot short wall, but look at the size and length. So this goes this entire short wall and even beyond because it kind of tapers against the partition wall there. But this is a shelf for storage. It's got a nice lip up here and then a clothes rod that goes that full length as well. You've got a air vent up here that is framed for an AC unit. It's the same footprint as an AC unit. So if we wanted to cut this out and add an air conditioner, we could do that. But here's that V nose. I mean, again, you can see the depth of it there. It goes a long way. And again, without them coming to a really sharp point there by the radius they have, there's still a lot of room up there in that neck area. And then you've got this 18 inch boot box. 18 inch boot boxes are great from the standpoint of they're a little bit deeper. It works as a step but you can get some uh, bigger buckets to actually set in here. The 12, because of this little bit of lip here on this frame, that 12 inch, when you lose this added six inches here, it's really hard to get buckets in there. So if we can, we like to incorporate an 18 inch just for that reason. And then here, even on this little bit of short wall, there's some carpet with some hooks there as well. So a lot of storage and the capability of, of storing a lot of tack in this, this trailer itself. Now I mentioned air ride. So again, two 7,000 pound air ride axles by Dexter. It's a great system because if something happens to our compressor, a bag, a line, they set down on rubber torsion axles and you can go down the road and get to where you need to to get something addressed if you need. But we've got it lifted up. So it lifts this trailer about two and a half inches up when we actually have it in the raised position. So when we lower it, it'll drop down. I like to recommend to customers when you're loading tack, when you're loading horses, when you're ho loading livestock, whatever you're doing, have it in the lower position because everything's closer to the ground. So two and a half inches closer to the ground, that's two and a half inches less you have to step, two and a half inches less that the horse has to step getting into this trailer itself as well. But as you can see, these bore 19.5 wheels, 
I mean, this trailer has got impeccable running gear underneath it. And then the ride, when it comes to that air ride for your horses, is phenomenal. Uh, a lot of customers will tell us that, you know, go to a lot of events and even on our big trainer trailers, they say they can peel an extra day off because they always account for recovery time for their horses. But the horses step off this trailer a lot fresher. Uh, and, and by doing that, you can cut off maybe some, some added travel time on the front end from a recovery standpoint. Again, horses are fresher. They don't have that jolt to all their joints. Dexter has done some testing. Behind the axles is the worst part of a ride on a trailer. We've all wanted to ride at the back of a school bus, right? When you're younger, because you hit bumps, you hit railroad crossings, it launches you, it's fun. Not for horses. So, Dexter did some testing and took away 52% of that road shock behind the axles. So again, just a better ride for your horses. And that is extremely important because again, we, we spend a lot of money, we spend a lot of time on these animals. We want them to compete at the highest level. Why not put them on air ride? Yes, it is an added expense up front, but when you start really breaking it down over the life of the trailer you're gonna own this, how many horses, how many shows you're gonna go to, how many miles, then start calculating that. Think about the savings possibly uh, on that front end if you're not having to spend extra on uh, hotel bills, extra food, extra labor, being away from home. When all that comes into consideration, that air ride is well worth the money. On the Windstar, you get the, the stock sides with plexiglass. Those do remove. And then as you get to the back, since it is, the, again, the Windstar model, um, this one here came with the dual 50-50 rear gates with the plexi, that removes again. But you can upgrade into more of your solid rear doors with windows. That is an option on this, on this model here. But as you can see, just a real basic and standard as far as uh, the stall area goes, you know, solid dividers, solid dividers at one and two. We don't have a stud divider on this one. We could add an extension if you wanted to. Since it is a bigger opening, we go with the strap uh, instead of a bar, because a bar, when you break this loose, if a horse hits it, that's a large piece of metal, it's gonna come flying at you. At least with the strap, you can just drop it and it falls to the ground. So on these bigger openings, we like straps rather than bars itself. But when we get into the stall area here, for, for safety for the horses, safety for you, these slam latches are phenomenal. Because now I'm not having to hold this in place, I'm not having to push a horse over, hold them in place to drop a pin in. You know, everything's flush mount. This is a cast aluminum piece that's powder coated with the heavy UHMW plastic. So we don't have metal to metal contact right here. So it's gonna reduce that, you know, some of that rattle and noise there. But real simple to use as far as that paddle latch. And then you've got the kick mat all the way around, tail side against the partition wall, and then on the head side, and then even on the back doors as well. When we're talking about Cimarron's, we're talking about all aluminum construction, and we're talking about the best floor on the market. This is a 12 inch deck extruded piece that locks in high and low, tongue and groove, four inch centers. So wherever you have a horse standing on this floor, they're standing on a support beam. That is the quickest and easiest way to tell quality of a tra uh, all aluminum trailer in my opinion. Crawl underneath and look at the floor. The farther centers are spread apart, the cheaper the trailer is, and then eventually you'll get those pits and waves where urine will sit in there and start eating at the floor, uh, but then also it kind of moves a little bit to where this is solid. And then every Cimarron comes standard with the insulated roof. So it's a half inch thick reinforced honeycomb design, so it gains a lot of strength. It'll take substantial hail. We can walk on these roofs and it, it, it won't dent them. Depending on the, the size of the trailer, they have multiple guys uh, when they're actually manufacturing these trailers on the roof, going ahead and putting them in place. Then we've got roof fence, two-way, front and back, so they'll grab air or release air. And one thing I want you to notice as we walk out of the stall area, if you look up top, we've got a couple load lights, but also there's a spoiler up there. And we're gonna, you're gonna probably start to see us doing a little bit more of this spoiler uh, in inventory units. And the reason why is, is that forces the air down and away from the trailer. So at the back of trailers, 
And, and I always use the example of if you live down a dirt road, gravel road, or travel down it a lot, you'll notice even in your vehicle, whether it's a truck, a car, an SUV, usually at the back, it's just kind of covered in that really fine dirt and then it just it, it tapers as you move forward on the vehicle. Well, it's no different from trailers. What it does is it actually wants to swirl back here and suck into the trailer itself. We don't want these animals breathing dirt. It's not good for the respiratory. So what we are doing is this spoiler will force the, the air down and away from the trailer. And then also in these bad winter roads when we're dealing with mag chloride, those type items, again, they swirl. So it gets everything away from it and these trailers will stay cleaner at the back. But it, more importantly, it gets that stuff away from the animals itself. Now on these Windstar models, there's a couple different things. You can do stock sides with Plexi as well with the dividers, or you can go in and do drop windows like this one has. So big, heavy duty, massive framed drop windows, really stout. You also have the jail bars that fold down as well. So if you want a horse to be able to pop his head out, if you want to put a water bucket in there, throw another feed bag in there when you're stopped, anything like that, it's really, really simple to do. Uh, but again, this is big framework with these welded hinges with grease certs. So you have these nice solid seals, but then they're also easier to maintain from that standpoint of you can actually go ahead and do that to where if they're welded and don't have that grease cert in there, you know, you got to heat it up. Then you got to get the, you know, some type of um, oil in there to go ahead and lubricate it to free it up. So it's a little bit easier to maintain from that standpoint. So Cimarron's really taken a lot of those steps uh, on these type of trailers. But again, talk about a absolutely well-optioned, just three horse run around trailer with air ride. You know, it's not skimping anything as far as options on this trailer goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the stock number on this one. So if you're interested in it, you can just reference it. Again, it's a 2020 Cimarron Windstar three horse gooseneck air ride. Stock number is 5U210699. We'll have another one coming for, uh, for a demo for him uh, this summer. He'll use it a little bit and then that trailer will be available as well. That one will be a 23 model, but there's a lot of savings in this. Uh, again, hardly used but we have put it through the shop. So give us a call, anybody on the sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in, have a good day.